There we go. Um, so not really a talk, more of a kind of a, a, a teaser for, um, for sauna. Um, so you heard, a, you heard a couple of mentions of sauna in um, Just Watch, Watch's uh, fantastic first talk. And um, this is just a, a couple of slides just setting the scene on, on what, our, what our new um, open source product sauna is. So as a bit of context, if Snowplow is a, essentially a, uh, a, an open source pipeline that gets you event data through the pipeline, so you collect it, um, we track it, we enrich it, we store it. Um, you know, that's a very powerful thing. And once you've got that data, you'll want to build insights on it. You're going to do analysis on it. Um, but really, once you've, you've started to build that intelligence, what we've been seeing is that you really want to start doing something with that. Um, you want to start working with that intelligence, and especially in real time. And so if we put this out on a, on a slide, what we see here is we've got our data on the left-hand side. So we've got our data warehouse that's being populated by Snowplow. We've got our unified log, so potentially we've got a Snowplow-powered event stream happening in real time. Then we've got this intelligence in the middle, so we're building our insights, we're, we're writing SQL, we're coming to an understanding of our customers. Um, and then we really want to, to interact with that, that data. We want to commit, uh, perform actions. And um, looking at Just Watch, that's, this is a pretty close echo of, of that slide that, um, that Dominic shared, where essentially you've got Snowplow, then you've got um, the audience builder, and then it's coming through into their universal CRM, and they're starting to send push notifications, and they're starting to do um, emails and, and you know, real-time bidding and all that kind of stuff. And so where Sauna sits is on this right-hand side, this idea of doing, doing actions. And uh, so we put out a first version of Sauna a few weeks ago. It's deliberately very minimal in scope. So at the moment, it only supports optimizing and send grid. The idea is really that Sauna en enables an analyst to take data, take insights that they've, they've built inside of Redshift, export that data out to, um, to S3, and then Sauna will pick up that data and integrate it back into Optimizely and SendGrid. So it's really about kind of doing the, the outbound, um, enacting those decisions. Sauna isn't coming up with those decisions. It's not building your intelligence for you. You still have to do that, but Sauna is going to help you to, to wire those those outcomes, those decisions, those reactions into third-party systems. So we've done optimizing in SendGrid. Um, we've got Urban Airship coming soon, and then we've got lots of exciting stuff on the roadmap. So one of the most exciting things is, is really real-time. So um, when we think about Snowplow real-time, and you think about the interactions and the decisioning that's taking place in real-time, there's this really interesting, powerful thing around making those decisions and doing stuff in real-time. So you know, deciding that, um, there's a uh, fraud incident and that a team needs to be alerted, deciding that um, a customer has just become a VIP, deciding that there's a set of emails that need to be sent out. And Sauna is going to help you to do all that. Um, I was talking to a, a Snowplow user earlier today, and they had a great use case for Sauna, which was um, essentially they've built a, a, mach a machine intelli intelligence system that um, is deciding on anomalies, and they want to escalate those anomalies to, uh, to a team to, uh, to investigate further. And uh, you know, a sauna interaction integration with uh, Mechanical Turk would be awesome for them. So essentially, their decisioning would uh, emit commands into sauna and say, turn these into Mechanical Turk um, tasks. So there's a lot we've got planned. Um, I think an important part about sauna is it's very, very early days. So we've only got two integrations so far. We're talking to lots of Snowplow users about the integrations that they'd like to see next. But the architecture has made it very, very easy for us to add integrations, made it easy for the open source community to add integrations as well. So uh, I won't go through this uh, right now, but essentially it's a very modular architecture in the same way that Snowplow itself is a very modular architecture. Um, and we'd love, to, we'd love to build more integrations really quickly. And you know, if you have specific ones, ones you'd like to see, um, talk to us today, talk to us um, in GitHub, talk to us offline. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll figure out how to get them built. Um, it should be really, really exciting. Um, yeah, give Sauna a try. Um, early days, but it's open source, same as Snowplow, Apache 2 licensed. Um, let us know which integrations you'd like us to, to add next and always uh, yeah, sign up to our newsletter. So that's a, that's a, a very short uh, teaser on, on Sauna. Uh, does anyone have any questions about Sauna uh, at the moment, at the minute? Yes? Why would you use it for optimizing to, to make a new, a new test? 
Yeah, so at the moment, um, the, the support we have is around building, um, they are called dynamic customer profiles, I think. Um, so Optimizely has quite a lot of rich segmentation support. Um, and at the moment, yes, you can, an analyst can export, uh, can build a new segment inside of Redshift, export it, and we'll upload it into Optimizely, and then you can uh, build your A-B tests around that segment. Um, so that's, that's, that's what we've done so far. Um, the, next, the next wave of things for Sauna will be not just about sort of segment building, it'll also be about enacting actual commands and things like sending emails and, and, and uh, notifications, push notifications, things like that.